Railcar Rivalry. There are many different kinds of engines on the island of Sodor, but Daisy the Diesel Railcar prides herself on being one of a kind. Look there, Daddy! That train looks like a coach! Uh, hello there! Actually, I'm a railcar. The only railcar on this entire railway, in fact. Whoa, that's cool! You bet your bottom dollar it's cool. There's no one as, uh, <clears throat> cool as me. However, Daisy can be a little high strung, too. And a little over dramatic. Oh! Hello there, Daisy! Did you hear the news? The Earl's friend from Germany just arrived with a new engine! He's a rail car! <laughs> it's just like you! What? Yep! Oliver just told me! He's called Hugo! <laughs> Looks like you aren't the only rail car in this entire railway anymore! <laughs> now you listen here, Ryan. No other rail car could ever compare to me. In fact, I think I'll go have a look at this Hugo myself. <laughs> He's probably not even a real rail car. <laughs> and with that, Daisy honked loudly and raced away from the station platform. Uh, Daisy! What about all these passengers? You know where to find the coaches. You can take them. I owe you one, Ryan. How? And I made sure to make Hugo here extra light, which is how he is able to achieve such high speeds. Wow, that's amazing. Truly revolutionary. It's simply fantastic. Hugo here is like nothing else I've ever seen. One of a kind. Hello, hello, Ulstead Castle. I have arrived. Uh, anyway, I heard that a new engine was here. A <laughs> rail car? Ah, yes. Daisy, this is Hugo. He's an experimental engine. He is called a rail zeppelin. He is designed for speed. Hello there. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh, my. <laughs> You're the rail car I've been hearing about? Pooh, you look more like an aeroplane than a rail car. Daisy? Well, that's not very kind at all. Quite right, Stephen. Hugo is our guest. Uh, right. Sorry about that. Got caught up in myself for a moment. It's, uh, nice to meet you too. Well, 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 would you look at that? Hugo, you're in good company. I'm sure you and Daisy have a lot in common. Yes, much in common, I am so. Hugo was eyeing Daisy carefully. He didn't like her stuck-up attitude at all. Well, uh, it was nice to meet you, Hugo. Um, bye everyone. And Daisy left. Did she really just come all this way here just for that? I wish I could explain half the strange things the engines on this island do. Well, personally, I don't think that she liked me very much. Oh, now don't say that. I'm sure you two will get along swimmingly once you get to know each other. In fact, that gives me an idea. Uh-oh. Watch out, Hugo. What? What is it? Whenever the Earl has an idea, that usually means trouble. Oh, boy. A few days later, Daisy was back in Harwick, busily shuttling passengers to the beach. She was still a little annoyed that she wasn't as special as she once thought, and a little jealous, too. Just then, as she pulled into the platform, she received a most unusual surprise. H Hugo, what are you doing here? Search me, the L brought me here. Sir, what's this all about? Daisy! So lovely to see you! I brought Hugo down here to your wonderful branch because I thought it would be nice for the two of you to spend some time together since you're so similar and all. Um, what exactly did you have in mind? Oh, just bring Hugo with you along your route. Show him the seaside. Enjoy yourselves! 
Despite the Earl's enthusiasm, neither engine looked as if his proposition would be a very enjoyable experience. Uh, all right. Let's go, Hugo. What will you do in the meantime, then, Sir Robert? Oh, I'll be fine. I do enjoy the seaside, after all. He is an odd fellow, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he is. But he's been very hospitable. Yes, I don't get to travel up to the castle often, but I hear many stories about him from the other engines. Before long, the two railcars were rolling happily along the line together, chatting like old friends. Ah, yes. It does get tiring, you know. Carrying so many people inside me all day. I envy the engines who pull coaches sometimes. Oh, yes. Very true. But even if you wanted to, you couldn't pull anything, could you? Because of your propeller and all? <sighs> yes. My propeller causes me great trouble. Some even say that it is not safe. But I would never hurt anyone. Daisy felt sorry for her new friend. She could tell that he was upset. Oh, don't let them get you down, Hugo. You're clearly a really useful engine, and you're even more unique than I am. I suppose. Just then, the two engines heard a loud cracking sound. Oh dear, what's that? On the rocky cutting above them hung an old tree, its branches dangling precariously over the rails. Daisy screeched to a halt and looked up. Oh no! Look out, Daisy! Oh! Hugo, you saved me! Well, it was nothing. See, I told you how useful that propeller was. I suppose that maybe you have a point, Daisy. Now, we'd better get going. We wouldn't want your passengers to be late. You know, at first I was a little upset that I wasn't the only real car on the island anymore. But I've never been happier to have a friend like you, Hugo. Before long, Daisy and Hugo pulled into Harwick Station with the last passengers of the day. Here we are, Hugo. It was a pleasure spending the day with you, Daisy. So, Hugo, how was your big day out with Daisy? All I can say is it sure is lucky that Daisy and I worked through our differences. We actually have a lot in common. Jesse the Claw. Uh, not to interrupt, but Daisy still owes me a favor. And these trucks aren't going to move themselves. Oh, oh yes. Uh, Hugo, maybe you can help me out, please? No coupling hooks, remember? Goodbye, Daisy! <gasps> uh. Even though she might not be the only rail car on Sodor anymore, the other engines know that there will always be only one Daisy.